Jam Music exclusive. I, I grew up like a savage. <laughs> A lot of the stuff that people see that's going on with mess right now, what a lot of niggas don't know is that I've been dealing with that with mess behind closed doors for years. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because the nigga is a friend. Right. I got love for him. So you would never hear me go bad on him. Right. Like a lot of people thought like, oh, when mess pulled that, you know, with the video yeah, and yeah, shit, yeah. with all the shit that, you know, I remember uh, Chuck was like, street cred Chuck? Yeah. Chuck was like, I'm surprised you ain't go bad. Yeah. Because I know shit. Right, right, right. A lot of shit. Mm -hmm. A lot of shit about a lot of niggas. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why a lot of you niggas don't be wanting to have me around because when you look at me, you know I know the truth about a lot of you niggas. Right. You feel me? Yeah. And, and, and um, you know, with the mess situation, I left it alone. I remember I was watching an interview and Daryl was talking about some shit. Mm -hmm. I was there. Mm -hmm. Daryl called me. Juice, come get me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, but then his sister ended up coming to, his sister somehow she ended up working it out or whatever the case may be. But I always would tell people and everybody, anybody that know me can contest to that. And I remember I did a, uh, I think I did an interview with Yuck Mouth. Cause Yuck Mouth been doing his interviews, the Smoke A Lot radio shit mm -hmm. was going on way before, Back then, yeah. way before niggas even thought about yeah, doing a podcast. Doing that shit, yeah. Yuck Mouth was doing that shit, yeah. right? So, you know, he had talked to me about it and he was, you know, there's a perspective and there's a narrative of what people thought versus what people saying mm -hmm. versus what really happened. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, regardless of how motherfuckers feel about mess, I'm gonna tell the truth, nigga, nigga, the mic didn't get snatched. Right. I remember, nigga, uh, we had a show at Papa's Pub and uh, E-40 was there, Be Legit was there, uh, Duna was there, Keek the Sneak was there, Jacka was there. Um, and Marshawn Lynch was there. Cause at that particular point in time, niggas didn't know who Marshawn Lynch was. Was, yeah. So I used to be riding around with Lynch telling everybody in Seattle, this the next nigga. Right. Niggas didn't all that niggas hollering beast mode, all that shit yeah, now. Yeah. They weren't they weren't known it like come that. Come on, bro. Yeah. Like I know for sure. For for sure, for sure. Like mm -hmm. I'm keeping it and Marshawn to tell you, mm -hmm. like nigga, when he was drinking gorilla the, the gorilla juice, yeah. the gorilla milk, yeah. like nigga, he was doing that back then, mixing yeah. weird shit together and drinking right. that shit like right. but um I had got on the stage and I had, and, and I said, I, I said, I want all my niggas in the bay to see this. And I said, uh, it ain't a bit, it ain't been another nigga from the bay who had it like Mac Dre and tell me. Mm -hmm. And I said, everybody in Seattle who fuck with me, come on the stage with me right now. The whole floor ended up empty. Damn. And the whole Seattle, I'm talking about the CD, the South End, West Seattle. I mean, the list goes on and on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody that was fucking with a nigga, right, you know? Right. And I got on stage and I said, we're going to stop this and mess. Damn. Motherfuckers make mistakes. Because they had a fuck Messy Mar movement to where if he would have came back to Washington, yeah. they was going to get him. They was going to get him. What? Them niggas in Seattle wasn't playing. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, them niggas, like, I'm telling you, like, motherfuckers got to stop thinking niggas in other cities is slow. Oh, man, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nigga, them like niggas that. is out there knocking <laughs> shit down. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? That's what and I'm in the trenches doing. with them, in the gutter with niggas that's really, I mean, mind you, I just walked the yard mm -hmm. seven years mm -hmm. in Walla Walla, penitentiary. My brother, shout out Clee. <laughs> he was in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, 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 like, you know, and I got up, and I, and I showed everybody from the bay, and I was like, we going we gonna to stop pushing the fuck Messy Marv movement. You know, niggas make mistakes. Right. Niggas make mistakes, but we got to give niggas a chance. That's a fact. You see what I'm saying? And then he tried to, he tried to come back and do a show, but, it, but I already had the Bullies with Foolies tour going. Going. And so, it did, it, and so he had to cancel his show. He couldn't, he couldn't do the show by himself. When you, um, it's not much that, like, like I said, you a humble gangster, man, and you, you know, you for, for the most part always positive you know what i'm saying especially in the public eye you know um but the other thing as far as in rap and entertainment go i was i was confused a little bit with the lav shit with lavish d you know cml i thought it started off as a like a like juice do with everybody else like you know what i'm saying like uh i'm the veteran <coughs> you knew let's fuck with it but it turned into some other shit you know I really didn't give a fuck about that shit like that because 
when, you know, when I started growing up, what a, you know, I fought one of the biggest beasts in the game, mm -hmm. and that was winning my appeal. So I really, I really could never really get to, you know, what that really was all about. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is this, my whole thing was, I have a real deep love for, I have a, 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 a place in my heart for Sacramento. Mm -hmm. And Sivo already did his thing. Brother Lynch already did his thing. Rest in peace, Homicide already had did his thing. And so I was just looking for the next best things from Sacramento. See, this is my problem that I got, and this is not on, uh, you know, Lavish D, like, you know, because it ain't really. It ain't really nothing. It's not nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and motherfuckers got to learn to have tough skin. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes people are going to say things and, you know what I mean? Like, okay, well, you know, that's how motherfucker felt at the time, but was there, like, bloodshed or funk or guns or shit like like nah like yeah. it wasn't it, it ain't you know what I mean so it's, it's not and walking nothing. down seven years nigga you'll think about all that yeah, shit yeah right <laughs> and so but my thing is this like and this is when I say that there's racism amongst us as a black community mm -hmm. like we always talking about white people racist but blacks are racist against blacks for sure because nigga I was Ghazi before Ghazi mm -hmm. when you look at everybody I was fucking with I mm -hmm. mean I even had Danny from Sobrani <sighs> I That's, even had Saint Danny, and you see he gone now. Yeah, yeah. I had Danny from, like, there was a lot of different individuals that I was fucking with. But if Ghazi can have niggas who don't get along on the label, why can't I? It's the Willie Lynch theory. Right? It's just niggas can't do it because we trained. That's in the fabric of where we grew up. You know, we speak in English. We all foreign, and then... We all in a foreign land with foreign language, foreign religion, and then when we get to what we think of some sense of normalcy, which is money or status, the American dream, right. you know, um, we just tend to shit on each other. Like you, we we don't use it as a as a uh, thing to congregate amongst. We use it as a separation tool. Say I'm better than them niggas. You know what I'm saying? So with Ghazi, there's no there's no threat, and what they see as a threat, which they should be. Not saying that Ghazi is threatening to do nothing with nobody. But there's people that's not black, that's literally eating off our backs. You know what I'm saying? And we don't mind because we just don't want to see another nigga do it. Man, I tell you like, um, you know, I still just, and I hear how you explaining it, but I, I still, to me, it's like, so if you and, if you and Cheap and D, and what's your man's over here? What's Ken. Your, Ken, you niggas is all at odds with each other. How come I can't give you a check, give him a check, give him a check, give him a check, and nigga, we just doing business? Why does it have to become personal? And that's where things get construed because one individual is more personal. It's taking it more personal, like, no, you're supposed to be with me. Mm -hmm. See, that's where the discrepancy came up with, with me and Jay Stalin because we hadn't communicated. Right, But right. we cleared the air, and Lil Blood too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. Lil Blood, he really surprised me when he found out that I was going to, when he found out that I, you know, they had booked me for attempted murder, he found out that I shot, you know, shot the nigga and all that shit, and he found out I got, uh, you know, for attempted murder, and then Lil Blood hit me and was just like, you know, hold your head, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. walk that shit off, hold yeah. your head. Yeah. And that meant a lot to me. Yeah. You know, with all of the different discrepancies that was going on, when it came time to be a real motherfucker, mm -hmm. he chose that over bullshit. You see that, what I'm that's saying? That's real shit. And, 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 and the same thing with Stalin. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had our differences because when all of that shit was going on, a lot of motherfuckers wanted me to be in the middle of a lot of shit, mm -hmm. but I was really trying to... You know what, what I'm you saying? Always done. But but a lot of people, but niggas ain't gonna be niggas don't niggas ain't nigga. I've I've been a nigga that's on the phone. Mm -hmm. Like bro, huh, bro? Mm -hmm. Bro, okay, man, you niggas talk. I'm finna sit the phone down. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. right. You know, and, and and so it's always been like that. So you know, me and Stalin cleared the air. Like we had some differences, but we cleared the air because real relationships you're able to clear the air. Facts. Because it's only communication that creates. Not communicating is the only thing that makes it be like, fuck that nigga. Mm -hmm. But when you really sit down and listen, and, and I had to listen. 
what what what, what was wrong, bro? Right. Styling like, well, nigga, I felt, you know, right. yada yada yada. Right. And I was like, ah, oh, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Ah. In all of this time, no communication. Shit, keep motherfuckers separated. What? Um. I'm glad y'all got through that shit too. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, shout out to Style and Blood. Yeah, shout yeah. out to everybody, man. Yeah, shout yeah. out, you know, shout out CML. Shout out everybody, man. Everybody. We got to move forward as a culture. Shout There's out too everybody. much shit going on, man. Shout out everybody because at the end of the day, everybody is successful right now. For sure. Everybody that came in contact with me is successful right now. Am I lying? Nah, that's I'm a I'm looking at the camera though. Nah. Am I lying? It doesn't matter who it is. Every nigga he named that came in contact with me, all of these niggas is successful right now. And that's all I ever wanted for any of these niggas. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't the nigga that was like, ooh, I'm gonna get a bag off a nigga. I'm the nigga that's like, nigga, come on, nigga, I'm on top of my game. This boys with fullies. Whatever you could do with me that can help you, that can help catapult you, because they work ethic is impeccable. Absolutely. These niggas can rap, they can work, they know what to do. Filthy rich, these niggas, niggas is smart. Very. Niggas is doing their thing. So, so, so it's like, shout out to everybody because they all winning. For me to go away from seven years and come back and be like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's what it is. Put an eight in a one and do magic. Trying to stretch hair run like elastic. Eco friendly drug dealer, I don't waste no plastic. Use all four corners of that baggie. Uh, all I ever wanted was a bankroll. So I pull up on champ before the bank close. Say no to stank hoes and stank clothes. No paramedic pimping, nigga, we don't save hoes. Yeah, rest in peace, the little.